Hi, this is King of Review. Find the sum of the first nine terms of the geometric sequence, two, four, eight, and then the sequence continues. So we have here a geometric sequence. What is this? A geometric sequence is a sequence or list of numbers or terms where the ratio of any term to the previous term is constant. So let's look at our sequence here. We go from 2 to 4. How do we get from 2 to 4? Well, we can multiply by 2. And then we go from 4 to 8. How do we get from 4 to 8? Well, we multiply by 2. So this keeps going. So we keep going. We multiply by 2 again. 8 times 2 is 16. So that's the next number in this sequence. And we keep going. And each time we multiply by 2 to get the next term. So the next term is 32. So we keep going in this fashion, multiplying by 2. Now, this is called a common ratio. This That's what this ratio is called. And it can be calculated as R equals A2, which is the second term, over A1. This is one way to calculate this ratio. So this number here is the first term, so that's A1. This number here is the second term, that's A2. So if we want to calculate this common ratio, A2 over A1 is 4 over 2. And if you simplify, that equals 2. So 2 is the common ratio. And that's what we were getting here as well. Now, you don't have to only choose A2 and A1 to calculate this common ratio. You can choose any term. Let's pick A3. But you have to compare it with the previous term. So if we pick A3, we have to compare it with A2. So let's see what we get here. This one here, this is A3. This is the third term. The third term is 8. And the second term, we already know that's a 4. So 8 divided by 4, that equals 2. So we're getting a common ratio of 2. That's how these numbers relate in this geometric sequence. Now here we're asked to find the sum of the first nine terms of this geometric sequence. Well, one way to do this is to calculate these nine terms by multiplying by 2 for each term to get the next term and add them all up. But there's also a formula for the sum of a geometric series. And this formula is Sn equals A1 times 1 minus R to the N power divided by 1 minus R. The sum, which is Sn here, the sum of N is the number of terms. So in this case, we're calculating the sum of the first nine terms equals the first term and our first term is A1, which is this number here, so 2, times 1 minus R. R is the common ratio and we found that this is a 2, so 2 to the N power, N is the number of terms, so here it's a 9, divided by 1 minus 2. So now we'll just simplify. S9, the sum of the first nine terms, equals 2 times 1 minus 512 divided by negative 1. And this equals 2 times negative 511 divided by negative 1. And we get 2 times 511. And finally, this equals 1022. So this represents the sum of the first nine terms. So A1 plus A2 plus A3, and this continues until you get to the ninth term, A9. And if you add these all up, you get 1022. So letter C is correct. Thanks for watching.